It's the middle of July. The sun beams through the thin air of the Alps. Racers tear down a poorly paved mountain road. Then, it all goes wrong. The melted tar steals the grip from a bike and throws the racer hard into the burning asphalt. In the middle of Lance Armstrong's dominance over the Tour de France, there were very few racers who were able to put the fight to him. But there was one racer who had come close. It was Seba Balaki. While Balaki had never come close to actually winning the Tour de France, he burst onto the scene with his powerful climbing ability to take third in the 2000 Tour de France, 10 minutes behind Armstrong, with Ulrich being 6 minutes behind Armstrong. The 2001 Tour de France would be the same, with Lance winning over Ulrich by 6 and Balaki by 9. In 2002, Balaki would take second behind Lance by 7 minutes and making him a favorite for the 2003 Tour. The 8th stage of the 2003 Tour de France finished at the top of Alpe d'Huez, and Balaki showed his form. He launched a vicious attack on Armstrong, with Armstrong not being able to respond quickly. The first time that we've seen since he started winning in 1999, the other racer smelled blood and went into a frenzy and just kept attacking him up the climb. At the top, the group sprinted together, putting Lance in yellow, but Balaki was only 40 seconds behind him. This was new territory for Lance Armstrong. The next day, Balaki would again attack Armstrong up the final climb on the Côte de la Roche, where Balaki would join Armstrong over the top, push down the descent in a race for the finish. Midway down, Balaki would hit the melted asphalt and go down, breaking his femur, his elbow, and his wrist. Armstrong, on Balaki's wheel, desperately swerved around him and shot off the road through a field in one of the most iconic moments in Tour de France history. But this is what made this one of the most heartbreaking crashes. Balaki would never truly recover. He was part of what made the Armstrong heir of the Tour great. And in 2003, he had my heart racing as I felt he was actually a threat to Lance's domination of the Tour. That's what makes Joseba Balaki's 2003 Tour de France crash one of the most heartbreaking crashes in cycling history.